Those of you who love changing by a percentage and then changing by another percentage and then maybe doing it 20 more times are going to love the video today. Imagine there's a bank, ABC Bank, which will offer us 4% interest on our money forever. In reality, the interest will change year to year, but let's keep things simple. We put £500 in the bank and leave it there. The first year, we only get £20 interest. But the second year, we will now have £540.80, which is a £20.80 increase on year one. Why isn't this £20 again? With simple interest, it would be, but compound interest is calculated each year. 4% of £520 is going to be more than 4% of £500. As we continue, you can see the amount growing by a larger amount each time. This is what makes compound interest so appealing for people saving their money. If we jump to 20 years, we can see this is £42.14 larger than the year before. This is over twice the amount we got in year one. But this makes sense because the amount we now have in the bank is over double the £500 we started with. Let's finally jump to 50 years and you can see we now have three, over £3,500 in a bank. Let's have a look at these questions. Let's start off by writing down all the key information. So, Amir earned £30,000 in 2022. There was a 7% increase to 2023 and a 3% decrease to 2024. To work out the 7% increase, we first of all need to work out what the multiplier is. So, to find a multiplier, we start off with 100%, add the 7%, 107%, divide by 100, 1.07. £30,000 times 1.07 will be £32,100. Next, we'll need to work out the take away 3% as a multiplier. So start off with 100%, take away 3 will be 97%. And then as a multiplier, we need to divide that by 100 times 0 0.97. So we're going to do £32,100 times 0 0.97, which will give us a £31,137. But instead of working out the £32,100, the 2023 wage, what we could have done is just multiplied the £30,000 by the 1.07 and then by the 0 0.97. Or we could multiply those multipliers together and just multiply the £30,000 by 1.0379, which will also give us £31,137. It seems like we can't find the multiplier for this question, but it says the number of people halves. This actually gives us the multiplier. To halve, it must go down by 50%. A 50% decrease will give us a multiplier of 0 0.5. And you know that when you times something by 0 0.5, it halves. We will need to multiply 256 by 0 0.5 eight times. And you can sit and do this on your calculator and find the answer is 1. Or you can do 256 times 0 0.5 to the power of 8 and let the calculator do the hard work for you, which will also give us an answer of 1. This is a much better way of doing it and you should get comfortable with using powers when you're working out um, these types of questions. We're told that Carl invests £350 in a bank for four years with an interest rate of 5% and we're asked to find his final amount. The multiplier for a 5% increase, we start off with 100%, add the 505, divide by 100, 1 1.05. We need to multiply the 350 by this multiplier four times. But a simpler way is just to do 350 times 1.05 to the power of 4, which will give us an answer of £425.43 pence to do decimal places because it's money. There is a compound interest formula that we can use. The P is the amount invested, the R is the rate of interest, the N is the number of years. When we put the, all of that into our equation, into the formula, we find the answer is exactly the same and A is the final amount. So our answer is £425.43, either method. Let's finish with this. John put £500 in a bank for 10 years and it's now worth £1,000. Discuss why he may not be able to buy twice as much with his money than he could 10 years ago. If you know, write it in the comments below. 
And you can also come to onmaths.com or click the link in the description where you can access all of our free GCSE papers and predictions and you can even save your scores with a free account. This video is part of a larger GCSE course that you can follow along with at onmaths.com.